We're going to take a look today at a compact digital camera, this one from Panasonic. It's part of their Lumex line. It's the DMC FX33. They also have an FX10, a 55, and a 100. And you notice that there are some differences between the models, and you might want to check it out if you're looking at buying them. The idea between a compact and maybe an SLR type or a large format camera is that they're small enough to sort of put in your purse or put in your jacket pocket and easy to carry around and always have on hand if you go to a party or you go to a birthday or something like that. But the point is, is that they still have a lot of power packed into these small cameras. This one, the DMC FX33, has eight megapixels in it. So again, it's got all the megapixels that you'd probably need and also find in something like an SLR camera, but it's packed into this little unit here. There are differences in terms of the ability to zoom, but this lens has a 3.6 times optic optical zoom, meaning that the lens does a great zoom job. And it also has uh, digital zoom as well, so you can continue to do that. On the back here, what you'll see is a 2.5 inch LCD screen. And this is one, things I one of the things I like about Panasonic's Lumix cameras is that they have a nice big screen on the back. Because the great thing is, is if you are at a birthday party or at a social event and you want to share the pictures or show them to people who are looking at them, you take a look at a screen like this and it's just a great thing to be able to show. One of the things about the Panasonic cameras, which is a new feature that I think is great is they've got the intelligent automatic feature. So basically by putting it on this mode, it's essentially a simple mode. It has the ability to do many things like automatic focus, which you'd expect, but it also does things like intelligent scene selection. So that if I'm taking a picture of a group of people, what it'll do is it'll go into a portrait mode. It'll actually identify the faces in there and allow me to ex get the right exposure for that image. I can simply just in the same mode go to something close like this and as you can see on the screen here in this IA mode it automatically switches to a macro mode meaning that it knows that I'm taking a picture of something very close and once again you can change that to seeing some kids running around playing soccer or a car driving by and you can see right away it changes to a sports mode meaning that it's changing the settings of the camera automatically without you doing anything so that it captures the best image and these are some of the things that folks like to see in compact cameras because Maybe they don't want to know everything you need to know about taking pictures, other than when you get it back to your computer, they look good. And you'll notice on the bottom here, both SD card memory and the lithium-ion battery. I was actually impressed by what, how long this camera lasted on its battery. On the side here, you'll notice that we've got the DC in, that's to recharge it. It's also got the AV out and digital out. You can actually hook this to a 69-inch television and re review your pictures at a party, which I thought was a great feature as well. About $499 for this 8-megapixel camera, so pretty good price point in terms of the compact cameras. And again, a compact version from Lumix, easy to pack around and take with you versus some of the alternatives, the SLRs or the bigger format cameras. Let's get a picture of me with these flowers here.